Hey Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I am here to give you guys a daily message. We are going to tap into your energy today, see what's going on. This is going to be a quick daily message. We just want to get your messages and your possible outcome for today. But before we get started, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. This allows me to connect with you energetically, and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. <clears throat> if this reading resonates and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The info is in the description box below. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. Alrighty, Scorpio. So I went ahead and I pulled out your oracle for today and then we're going to move on to the tarot. So the first card that came out is New Beginnings. I just heard even though it is the end of the week, it is Friday and we're getting ready for the weekend. There's something new that's getting ready to come towards you. So you may be meeting someone new. Um, For some of you guys, you are going to be saying farewell to old employees or old co-workers because you're getting ready to take on a new endeavor and a new company. So there is a lot of new things getting ready to come towards you. And with that, there's positive movement forward. So if you were doubting the decision that you made to move on and move forward, whether it's from a relationship or an employer, an, an employer you're doing the right thing. It's time for you to do whatever it is that you need to do to make yourself happy. You've been doing the same thing over and over again just to please other people. And now it's all about you. It's all about you moving forward and it's all about you having new beginnings. For some of you guys this weekend, there is a next coming back who is wanting a new beginning and you're doubting this person's intentions. Well, Spirit is telling you that there is a positive movement forward in this connection. So don't doubt the situation. Pretty much um, give it its opportunity to see where this can possibly lead. Um, tap into your intuition so you can get more clear messages regarding the situation with that individual. But let's go ahead and move on to the tarot, guys. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What are the overall messages here for Scorpio for today? Overall messages for Scorpio, please. So the tower moment. Some of you guys are afraid of this new beginning. Okay, some of you guys are scared that if you take this leap of faith and you move on to a, a, new, a new situation, a new company, a new love, or just give an old love another opportunity, you're afraid. You're afraid that it's not going to pan out and work out the way you want it to work. But Spirit is telling you to let that tower fall. It's time for these changes. You've been in the same situation. I just heard you've been in the same rut for many, many years, and it's time for you to let it go. There is no more confusion in the situation here. Finally, things have gotten resolved. It's just you fearing this tower coming in and fearing the change that's getting ready to take, take place for you. You're being told to go with the flow already. Let these changes come in because it's time for a change. It's time for a new beginning and it's definitely time for forward movement. Yep, there you go. Six of swords. So it's time for you to move on and move forward. There is a lot of calmer times coming towards you. There is a lot of peaceful, serene times coming towards you. This move was destined. This was planned for you already. Okay? It was just all about it coming into fruition. All about all about it being planned out. And it's right, finally right before you. So it's time for you to take advantage of this situation and move on and move forward. Yep, a lot to celebrate here. As I told you, for some of you guys, there's definitely a reconciliation happening this weekend. So before you make a final decision regarding somebody from the past, listen to them first. Hear them out. See where they're coming from. You know intuitively who, who this person is, what they're about, and what can they can actually do. Um, in regards to the situation, you know when this person is lying to you and you know when they're not lying to you. So you're being told to listen to this person first before you shut the door in their face, before you totally X them out. Listen to this person and their intentions towards this relationship because they may end up being what you want it to be at the end of the day. This is a new beginning for you. This is forward movement in a situation that has been stagnant. This is forward movement in a situation that you felt was never going to move anywhere, that was never going to go anywhere. There's finally movement in the connection. Now you're stalling because you're afraid. You feel that this person may have some intentions here with the devil, maybe coming back with some toxicity, maybe coming back to cause you some problems. For those of you that are moving on to a new company, you're afraid that you're not going to get along with the people over there. You feel that you're going to, you might end up 
dealing with a lot of hostility and anger because you're not moving to that company to become a regular employee. You're actually going in for management. So you you feel like the people that you're going to deal with may not um, take too keen to you right away. But you're being told to let go of those energies because it's that's exactly what you're going to end up bringing forward. Anything that's negative, you're going to end up bringing it forward. So let it go. This is a new beginning for you. This is a whole new chance. This is a redo in a situation that you have been in separation with somebody in a situation that you have been hoping for and praying for that it would come back around with the ten of wands with the ten of wands it's finally you releasing the burden it's finally you letting go of what no longer serves a purpose in your life and it's finally you enjoying <coughs> your your hard work you've earned this this new beginning is destined for you this is what you've been hoping for this is what you have been praying for this is what you have been preparing for so you're being told to move on and move forward because what's ready what's getting ready to come towards you is destined it's happiness it's abundance it's blessings okay with the judgment make that decision already it may be hard but make that decision to let go of any negative any negative thoughts, any negative energy, any negative words, let it go. Don't take it with you. You must leave that all behind because what's coming towards you is stability, it's happiness, it's abundance. You manifested this, you prayed for this, and it's finally here. So take advantage of your prayers, take advantage of your 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 happiness, take advantage of your manifestation because this is exactly what you have been wanting. As I told you, Scorpio, this weekend is all about new beginnings. Um, this weekend is all about new things coming towards you. This weekend's all about second opportunities. So today is going to be a start. I just heard today is going to be a whole new day for you. It's going to be a redo. It's going to be a restart. It's going to be a new start to your new beginning. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.